copy of the assignment for lab one. So the file that we're going to look at is lab one climate 0420. It's a jump file. You can open and jump. And what you'll see is that it has a number of different things. It has a continent, it has a biome, it has cities, and there's something, there's, you know, 382 cities listed here, um, all from the northern hemisphere. And then it has um, mean annual precipitation, which is MAP, and mean annual temperature, which is MAT. And it also has um, the, the city's elevation, um, its latitude and longitude, and the distance from the ocean. So what we're going to do with this file, we're going to do a couple things and show you some things to do it. The first thing we want to do with, with this is to get rid of the high elevation cities because they change um, sort of the basic um, movement of where biomes are, where the different biomes are found across, across the globe. So the first thing we want to do is sort on elevation. So we're going to take our elevation file and if we take a look at that we can click on elevation and we'll hit we have the, we're sorting by elevation. So let's go let's get rid of let's go with the top ones first. So we'll go from the high elevation to low elevation rather than the other way around. So now we have a new jump file that we'll look at and we can resize here and now it's sorted by elevation with the highest elevations at the top and there's two ways you can do this you could um, take this file because you still have the original file you could take and highlight the high elevation cities and delete them or you can subset and, and highlight the cities you want to keep and subset and I'll show you how to subset really quick here I think that um, it's a good skill to learn. So we're going to take all the cities that are below 1500 meters. And so that ends up with these. And then we're going to start here. If you click here and then we and you hold down the shift key and go all the way to the bottom, then you can click again and it'll highlight all of those um, those things. And so then if you go back up to the tables menu, you can go to subset and then the subset dialog box will show up. And what we want are the selected rows and all the columns. And you can select on various subset on various different things, uh, selecting on different columns or different rows. So anyway, um, if we hit OK, we get a third um, data set. And we can just get rid of this last one that we just did and don't save it because we don't need it anymore. And now we've got a subset that just has the cities that are below 1,500 meters. So the next thing we want to do is we want to look at the relationship of, of, um, and, and, of mean annual temperature and mean annual precipitation and how they um, helped to determine um, different biomes. And so we're going to look at that. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to use our fit y by x menu. Um, we're going to select mean annual temperature on the x-axis and mean annual precipitation on the y-axis. This is really a correlation, so it doesn't really matter which one is, is on where. Um, and hit OK. So we get a graph that looks like this. And, the, the, and we're going to pull the graph down to make it bigger. So now we got a big graph. The way that this is, um, these are labeled is the colors are different biomes, and the symbols, say circles and triangles and such, are different continents. Um, and so um, what we're going to do is is put um, fits around these um, things based on biomes, so we can encircle the different ones with a um, a density ellipse. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use the group by column, which allows us to, use, to select a column to make the grouping on. In this case, we're going to use biome. So if we hit OK here, now when we run an analysis, it's going to run separate analysis, analyses on each biome. And so if we do that, we can run our density ellipse, and we're going to select 
a density of ellipse of about 0.7. You can pick any one. You can see what different different densities uh, of points that it surrounds um, give you if you want to try different ones. Now we're going to hit OK. And so what, what we get from our, our data set is now we've encircled each of the biomes, basically, which encompassing about 70% of the, the distribution. So you can see that we've got a dark green and the, the circles, the ellipses match up with the colors of the different points. And so you can see we have a bunch of different um, circles here for each one for each of our different biomes that are in the table. And you should be able to see from this and answer the questions and figure out what's going on um, um, based on that.